New York City mosques now allowed to broadcast call to prayer without permit. In a move that prioritizes one religion over others and blurs the line between church and state, New York City Mayor Eric Adams recently announced that mosques will no longer need a permit to publicly broadcast the Azan, or the Muslim call to prayer, on Fridays and during Ramadan. While Adams claims that this will foster inclusivity, it raises concerns about the separation between church and state and the principle, a principle that Adams has previously publicly dismissed, saying state is the body, church is the heart. You take the heart out of the body, the body dies. This decision not only sets a dangerous precedent, but disrupts the delicate balance between religious freedoms in a city home to a diverse array of faiths. As Afaf Nasher, executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE for short, New York's chapter, stated, quote, the sound of the Azan is not just a call to prayer. It's a call to unity, reflection, and community. It's important to question if this move truly promotes unity and community for all New Yorkers, regardless of their faiths or beliefs. So Armin, what do you think about this? They're only what? allowed okay, to play I the as on at 10 decibels louder than the ambient noise levels. How is it a call for unity? Can some, what? It's literally saying Allahu Akbar, it, which means it, my God is greater. Great. It's not Allah. It's Allahu Akbar, by the way. It doesn't mean God is great. Do you know what it actually means? It means God is greater. Yeah, exactly. You know, greater, you know, do you know what greater than what? Then your Every God. Other faith. Yeah, exactly. Everything it else. Is, yeah, it's like, it's, my God is, Allahu Akbar is not a call for unity. It's the actual opposite. Allahu Akbar is like, my God is bigger, bigger than your God. That's what it literally means. How is it a call? You... The, the call to prayer was a way for Muslims to know if they should attack a city or not, to see if they're calling it as an, is it is, is this an Islamic city or not. When has it ever been a call for unity? It was playing an adhan in a city for the first time was a sign that this city has been invaded by Muslim and now this is Islamic land. When has it ever in history the azan been a, a sign of unity? What are they talking about? How is it? How are they? How, how are they? How do they? Def, how, what? What? What is their <laughs> argument for this being unity? Well, this is an example of what I personally dub like basically multiculturalism dogma or like uncritical inclusivity, toxic multiculturalism. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very uncritical. So the idea is, is that, okay, as D is pointing out in our live chat, only 9% of New York City is Muslim, but it's, you know, in, 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 in it's, it's, it's a belief that comes out of a spirit that I have sympathy towards, which is like, Hey, we want these people to be included within our city, their life. We want them to feel like they belong here and that they should be welcomed uh, just because they're a minority, like we care about pluralism and they should, you know, be allowed to express themselves and blah, 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 blah. Um, but it's, again, it's it that, which is a good spirit. You know, I appreciate that sentiment, but it's, again, like I said, very uncritical um, because it's not conscious or aware of all the things that you just mentioned. And um, it's not taking into consideration the quality of life for all the other people that live in that environment who probably don't want to hear that necessarily. Like I have friends who have lived next to mosques and it sounds like <laughs> just hearing the call to prayer constantly would drive me insane, um, especially when they like send me videos. Oh, what it sounds like at like five in the morning. I would have lost my mind so long ago. Um, but yeah, Armin, that because you're like, oh, what are they thinking? Well, that that that's the spirit of it. 
like a we're we have many different people living here we want them to be included and this is how we think that we should include them so what do you think about that okay uh, can you, uh, now the more important part i want to ask how is this not anti-secular what why this is a religious privilege right why are, mm-hmm. are why are is do other religions get to do this or is well it i just... mean they're church bells okay. they're definitely church, church bells, bells and cathedrals all around new york city and that's allowed yeah i'm i don't know because this this whole thing this new announcement is that they can do this without a permit they they were previously allowed to do it but they had to be permitted and now that they, 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 they've revoked the need for a permit i don't know mm. what the permitting situation just... is on churches Right. But and what about, I think uh, churches are different though, because it's it's not saying it's it's the sound of bells, mm-hmm, not mm-hmm. my God is greater than yours. There's a difference between those yeah. two things. I mean, would I be able to from a have a building that is broadcasting with the same volume that your God sucks message? Would I be able to do that? I mean, I'm okay with this if I if I get to do that if I if I get to do the same thing with that, as long as they don't have a privilege. Oh I just I'm yeah, just I don't I'm know just if you're asking for do cons- that. I'm yeah, just would you also be allowed to do that without a permit? Under what circumstances yeah, I, okay. would you be allowed to do all that? All I'm asking permit? for all I'm asking for is consistency. Okay, if they can broadcast with that volume, that my God is greater. Okay. I should be able to have, without permit, have a building that broadcasts that Allah sucks. Okay, I should be able to do that. Okay, if I if I would be okay with this law, if it's allowed to do the same thing, if we're allowed to do the same thing, again. But I, maybe it's all or none. Okay, if and I think none is better because then if everybody is allowed to just broadcast their messages from their buildings i think that that would be a lot of noise pollution and we want to reduce noise pollution so i think and going with none so noisy yeah i think going with none if i had to choose between all or none i would choose none none of it should be allowed but if you're allowing some of it then be consistent and allow all of it at least mm-hmm. the worst is the worst is privilege the worst is if there is religious privilege. That's the worst um, outcome. If that's uh, that's what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's read the super chats. Do you want to read the super chats? First of all, thank you for the super chats. Uh, Animation gave us 100 rupees. Thank you. Saying, if Allahu Akbar is exclusionary, how does one navigate in a multicultural celebration such as in India? I'm not sure if I entirely understand this question. Let me see. If like, I, like I feel is like I that... need more context. Um, I mean, you could be multicultural and be sometimes exclusive. You should be allowed to be exclusive sometimes. You know what I mean? You should be allowed to be like, you know what? We have a temple celebration and only Buddhists can allow, are allowed in this one. Okay. I think I don't like that, but I think that should be allowed. That should not be legal. What it do you depends. Think? It depends. Yeah. It really depends. Cause that could also lead to situations of severe caste discrimination. Right. It you know what? You know what? To yeah, situations right. of severe gender based discrimination. Yeah. It's really you know tricky. What? You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because imagine if you said that about a Christian, people in the United States or Canada would completely understand like, oh, this is a Christian only event. And we're like, okay, this is religious supremacy. You should not. Yeah. I mean, I don't like it at all. I just don't like too much government involvement. That's what Yeah, I'm exactly. That, I don't know. I have to think. That's really the question. That's really the balance. Yeah. yeah um, exactly. But I feel like I wasn't fully understanding that question. So I can't yeah, me neither. really answer. Yeah. Yeah, I just answered my own, what I was thinking myself. All right, so here's another question. You want to read this one? Oh, we got another super chat. Um, it's saying okay. it's, uh, Prash gave us a super chat. Thank you. Saying Islam is no different than uh, Yahtzeeism, as I will call it for YouTube. Ideas expressed in uh, again, I don't want to say this for YouTube. I will say my dream. Minecraft, in Minecraft. 
ideas expressed in Minecraft. That's how you say that. Uh, people can't say it because it was born 1,400 years ago and has billions of adherents. Well, actually, Armin, I, I don't believe, agree I believe this. that you think that Islam is actually worse than Yahtzeeism, right? Yeah, this is this is not correct. Islam is is far worse, far worse than Yahtzeeism. I mean, just if you just uh, compare the Quran to Minecraft, you will see that I'm correct about that. Yeah, we hate yeah. Minecraft here, by the way. Yes, yeah, so it's a disgusting, <laughs> one. but the Quran is worse. Okay. Um. um well, do you want to articulate cool. why you think it's worse? I think that's important. That will take. Well, well, that will take a lot. Okay, I will give. Time. I will give okay. the the gist of why you think it's worse. You think it's worse because Yahtzeeism in Minecraft is so bad that it basically burns out very, very quickly. Versus, there are enough good things within Islam that continue the meme for longer, ultimately causing more harm in the long term. It's, is that fair to say? I wouldn't say there's good thing. I wouldn't say good good thing. I'm saying like it's too obviously evil. It's too on the nose with how evil it is. Like I would say, the the Quranic message is more evil actually, and the mess, the good parts of it is not actually good. It just seemed good, but it's like it has enough, you know, rainbows and butterflies to just be able to cover up the evilness inside. It's it ha it's better at propaganda, and that's why it lasts longer, and it has more victims, basically. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I just thought it was important to outline why you believe that um oh, thank you Newman talking about <laughs> the issues with broadcasting the call to prayer he's saying my house is soundproof just because of that bs oh wow good job if this was in my neighborhood i would lose my mind if i like bought a, house, <laughs> a condo and neighborhood and then that was constructed after i bought my property and i was like locked into that space i would be pissed i'm going to the city council <laughs> they're gonna hear my complaint <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna um, be caring about it. Oh yeah, I'll go to the city council. I'm I ain't afraid. I went yeah. to give comment <laughs> at city council actually yeah. this year. <laughs> it was for something completely <laughs> different though. <laughs> it was actually okay. related to the Iran demonstrations. Um nice. Prash gave us a 10 Canadian dollar super chat. Thank you, Prash. Saying, do you Thank think you. that Ilhan Omar, Rashida Talib are really liberal? They seem to follow an Islamist agenda and attack the GOP, Hindu nationalists, and Zionists, but are silent on Islamic radicals. Seems fake to me. Okay, they they actually have been critical of bad practices among Islamic radicals before. Like I remember there was a conversation with Ilhan Omar where. She was basically expressing, they were talking, the interviewer was asking her about FGM or something. And Ilhan Omar was basically like, why do I need to come out and say that this is unacceptable every single time? Like, I've already stated this. Like, why do I have to keep repeating myself, blah, blah, blah. Um, right. So they, they do take some stances against these kinds of things. Um, do I, I, what do you, what, by Islamist agenda, what do you specifically mean? Because that can mean a lot of different mm -hmm. things, first of all. But do I think they're really liberal? Well, no, but that's more about their progressivism and less about what you think is yeah. this agenda. Does that make sense? Right, they, like, I don't think they're yes. really liberal, but not for the reasons that you're saying. <laughs> they're not liberal because they're progressives. Yes, exactly. And they're genuinely progressive. I do believe that they're genuinely progressive. Um um, and I, you have no idea how much, and, and, and I'm not defending everything these people say. They have a lot of views that I completely disagree with, right? Um, however, they are, I do believe that they're genuine about the views that they have, and they do get a lot of hate from Muslims for it. That you, they actually get the, these people that you're mentioning, they get a more, they get attacked more by Muslim conservatives. That right and then right leaning Americans, the level of hate that comes at them is you have no idea. It's it's insane. It's insane. So yeah, but I do believe it's genuine. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So next comment. 
Oh, yeah. Da Rui gave us seven Ooh. Canadian dollars. Thank you. St. Armin, Thank watch you. the movie, the Indian movie OMG and PK. I'll pay you to watch to react to it. I still have not seen <laughs> PK and I really want I, to see PK. But I don't think we can I, do that on YouTube. We'd get a copyright we strike can. to hell. We get we get copyright strike. But I have seen PK and I love PK. I've I seen love some clips of it. It was hilarious. Just the Yes. Know, I, I don't like the ending of PK, to be fair. I think like it ended like trying to uh, fix. It attacked religion so much during the show. And I think at the very end, it had to do some damage control. Um, and I don't like the ending. But the rest of the movie was really, really good. I Given how good PK is, I'm, I'm assuming OMG would be that good. I hope so. But I will check that out if I have the time. I don't have the time, though. But I will try. I will try to check it out. Um, yeah, so, but thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. So we got another super chat from Newman saying, I cannot complain about that. Trust me, I tried. Okay. So about, I think the Azan, um, mm. sound. Okay. Well, sorry about that. Good, good job making your house soundproof at least. Try to <laughs> get, yeah, try to get like some noise canceling headphones to help as well. That really helps. Um, also David with a two dollar can two Canadian dollar super chat saying, Do you think India will be a superpower? Yes, I do think so. I think it's not a matter of when India will become a superpower and economic superpowers, to be exact. I, well, there's multiple ways of becoming a superpower. I don't think India will become a military superpower, for example. I do think India will become an economic superpower. It's not a matter of uh. If it's a matter of when, and I think that the religious, uh, the Hindutva element, the religious element, and the right-leaning ethno-nationalist element is slowing that down, it will slow that down. It, it will not be able to stop it becoming a superpower, but unfortunately, it's delaying the progress, which is a tragedy because every second that that delay every every second that that falls behind that we're talking about millions and millions of people's lives not progressing fast enough so it, it's a it's a huge given how big india is i think it's a, it should be considered a major crime to delay the the progress that india is ha is having and i think the religion and the conservatism and the ethno nationalistic elements are doing that yeah all right we did well. I think we did very well today, guys. I think we covered yeah, a, lot a lot of, of interesting fun. news. Yeah, and thank you again to Susanna and Dee for all the time and effort they do they put into bringing also, all Newman. of this Newman news. Is and part also, of our news team now. Newman too. I was I usually say and all the other people that we cannot name, but we can name Newman because Newman is here and we know Newman. So thank you so much to Newman as well, and all the other people who are spending time on the news and. We cannot name them for their own sake. So thank you. I mean, uh, me and Susie appreciate you guys. Um, and guys, if you want to help us and if you want to join the team and help us do the things that we do, because there's just too much, okay? And we are, there are so many other things we could do if we if our hands are not, were not this full. So there's a link in the description. You could become a volunteer. Um, I check them once every couple of weeks and then because to, so I could get them done all, all at the same time. If there's a little bit delay in me getting back to you, please be patient. I will get to all the volunteer applications. Okay. I promise I will get to all of them. So yeah, link to the volunteer application uh, in the description. Anyways, guys, we're going to head out and oh, I have a... Um, guys, come head over to the Atheist Experience channel because I'm going to be hosting that. Uh, okay. In a few hours, yes. Oh, what yes. the hell? Yes. Why didn't so, we guys... plug this? What the hell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pull it up yes, right come... now. I didn't. <laughs> yes, guys, come to the atheist experience, please, and come. And I'm going to be hosting the athe. Well, I'm going to be a co-host in the atheist experience today. In let me see how many hours. Let me turn this off. Oh, in Ooh, three hours. Okay, nice. Guys, in three hours, I will be hosting the Atheist Experience show. So please, please come today 
and mention in the live chat that woohoo, Armin, Armin is here. So they they like it when you when you say that they will invite me more, okay? And leave and after the show is over, they also leave a comment there saying like, oh, Armin did a great job. They check the comments. That's the you guys leaving comments there on the atheist experience. That's the reason why they keep having me back. Okay, so please continue doing that. Thank you. Wait, 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 mm. wait. I need to I need to promo put, this. I'll put the link in the. Put the let me put the link as well for you guys. Okay, one second. Um, That's so fun. I feel so silly. Like usually I'm so good about being on top of you doing this. And <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Okay. Guys, I put the link in the comment section uh, in the in the live chat. So co come check it out um in three hours. Okay. Be yes, there. Let me pull it up. And I'll, I'll I'll see you in the live chat when you guys are when I notice Atheist Republic people are in the live chat, it makes me happy there. So what are you going to Oh, yeah. Boom. Wait, how do I put this away? There we go. Guys, three hours. Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> this photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's cool. I'll be in the live chat. Everyone, come hang out. Um. And before we leave, I just want to say thank you to our community. Thank you for showing awesome. up every week, making the live chat as fun as it is. It's because of you guys that everyone even wants to come and hang out with everyone. Um, it's kind of fun to like come every week and see the same people and catch up and just spend time together. So thank you guys for making our community what it is. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. We do this every week. Okay. So make sure to come back, share your opinions, comment. What was your favorite segment that we covered this week? What kind of news do you want me to pick for next week? And um, thank you for everyone who gave us super chats this week. That was also yeah. a lot of fun to get, to get more involved in these other issues. I enjoyed that. Yes. Yes. And also... Sina is saying, aye, aye, Captain. Thank you, Sina. And yes, and uh, guys, also like and subscribe and leave comments, as Susanna mentioned. And Newman is also giving us a super chat saying, I am coming for Forrest. Okay, okay, fine. That's, that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Forrest is great. I love Forrest. is very knowledgeable. So I, yeah. I like his content. Like that. All right, guys. See you next week. Uh, see you with Susanna next week. See you earlier with Secular Rarity. So, um, subscribe for that as well do you know who makes the most amazing gorgeous and other adjectives that i can't use here on youtube blasphemous art ever we do and for some reason we are giving it away for free download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind